Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily NVIDIA report for Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Let's take a look at the charts. I'll start with this one, giving us the big picture, really. And that was about, uh, this was in early May. So five, six weeks ago, we settled above this descending channel top that represented sort of the all-time move high up to that point, having closed above this descending flag, descending channel that set up, uh, test uh, the longer-term channel top. Uh, I meant, At the time, I mentioned within one to three months, depending on volatility, uh, and that was anticipated. This was a new channel structure based in part on the April low, and it was considered a one to three month target. We reached it in about a month. We even pushed through, closed above it by the required amount only to fall back. So we've had trouble in this area, but yesterday's gap above 123.19, clear settlement above 129, 123.19 does suggest longer term bullish continuation uh, as we continue, uh, you know, well, really through July only, I am anticipating, I'm going to jump to the weekly chart here because really what I want to say is, yes, we have a buy signal. And if you went long or at least uh, exited your short positions based on that, I think that is the way to go. And if you're long right now, fine. I think that's great. And I, and I, I actually support that. Uh, I just want to know, just want you to know that... Um, it really is a weekly settlement that I'm comfortable with now, above 122.85. It is the same formation on the weekly chart. It's just that a weekly channels, weekly charts have a degree of closure and finality to them in terms of longer-term signals that the daily charts just don't provide. Uh, but we are above this area on the daily chart, and I want to see a settlement tomorrow above 122.85 to sort of lock in what I consider to be the next objective at 156.57, and this could be within three or four weeks. It could also take the better part of two months, but I would consider it to be our next big picture objective above 122.85. But 123.19 down to 122.44 uh, is our area of support. Day traders can buy it. Three to five day swing traders can buy it. Three to five day swing traders can buy it up to 133.97. And that is considered a realistic three to five day target. A one to two week swing traders can buy it up to 138.70. This is our one to two week target now above 120. 19, 138.70. And as I say, the mid 150s is expected over the next month or two. If over the next week or two, we close above 138.70, uh, we're just another week or two then away from reaching this 156.15 objective. So that is all true. Now, working upside uh, today, I'll go to this chart. It's a little cleaner. Working upside, I, there's really nothing to hang our hats on, so to speak. We can do a full swing of Fibonacci levels to the upside. 129.87 is one and a half back up from the full swing from, you know, about a week ago, we put out a high, then the low a few days later. Uh, but 133.97 is your resistance that can contain not only daily buying pressures, but possibly uh, through the rest of the week and into early next. From here, we could fall back to the 123.19 formation with Within uh, two to three, three to five days of testing, 133.97. I don't expect to see it today, but if we did close above 133.97, we're just another day away tomorrow then from testing 138.70. But that is highly unlikely, despite the high volatility we have right now. I see 133.97 as several days away from being tested. And uh, you should be respected for its ability to contain daily buying pressure. So day traders, three to five day swing traders can trade this. And once again, you know, one to two week swing traders can anticipate 138.70 and one to two month uh, near term investors, near term traders can anticipate the mid 150s. And I just want to reemphasize that I do want to see a settlement tomorrow the week itself above 122.85 to sort of, you know, confirm all that. Now, if we downside a uh, break that 123.19 formation, 120.63 is in reach, and that is just a minor point because I think the buyable support, if you will, in terms of support that could contain selling into next week is is 117.99. So if we break, you know, especially if we open today below 123.19, that spells weakness right out of the gates. Yes, we can hesitate at 120.63, but if we open today below 123.19, 117.99 is in reach where a daily low can be place and we just might bottom out here as we move into next week so this is your uh, day support and your three to five day swing trade perhaps i don't expect it today 
unless we gap below, open below 123.19. Under uh, normal circumstances, though, we will open above 123.19. And if we break 123.19, 120.63 is likely. This is a solid day trade level. If you go short, if you're short below 123.19, 120.63 is an area to take profits. You may even consider going long here, talking to day traders. But if, if we close, though, below 123.19, 117.99 is likely then tomorrow Monday at the latest where we can and probably would bottom out on a daily basis possibly in the later week from here we could round up the new highs again if we close below 117.99 today and it's highly unlikely that'll happen we're just another day away from testing 113.20. This area is narrowing gradually, and by next week, we'll all come together as our new sort of near to midterm support. 113.20, if tested over the next three to five days or so, able to contain selling through next week, possibly into a July trade. From here, we can round up again. You know, you could make a case that off that April low, bullish momentum remains intact above 113.20. But if we were over the next week or so to close below 113.20, then we have 92.87 as a two to three week downside target where we could actually bottom out through the entire third quarter. Now, there is a certain case to be made that if we do close today merely back below 123.19 and we close the week itself back below 122.85, this is once again a sign that this market is losing momentum and, um, you know, failing to uh, hold buy signals on a longer term basis. And with that in mind, you could begin planning for the lower 90s as a one to two month target if that were to occur. Uh, but we have, we're not there yet. So closing today below 123.19 is the beginning of that. And then closing tomorrow, Friday, below 122.85 is, for those of you who like to trade the one to two month time frame uh, and you want to fade this rally, you could consider reaching for, I don't know, 93, 95 strike out of the money puts that don't expire for at least three months. But the clarity for whether we test 92.87 or not by some point in July really comes with a settlement below 113.20. So that is sort of the go with more reliable sell signal. But once again, closing back below 123.19 today doesn't look good for bullish continuation as we move into July. And if we close tomorrow, Friday, the week itself below 122.85, I think you can begin playing the short side if you're so inclined. Uh, and then I would highly encourage you to play the short side if over the next week or two, we were to settle below 113.20. I think I've said it all. I'm going to leave it at that for Thursday's NVIDIA report. Please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. Take advantage of that five-day free trial. Check out those two stock picks every week, daily Q, daily spy analysis, so forth and so on. I'll be back tomorrow with Friday's NVIDIA report, and you have a great day.